the legacy of the Chola dynasty in the Philippines. Dick legacy, that two of the glorious Chola dynasty of South India connecting Philippines to India. The Chola dynasty after 1800 plus years of rule in the southern part of India, moved into the sunset around 1279 with the descendants becoming local chieftains ruling small regions in obscurity. The history of the Philippines shows that the Chola dynasty extended itself till 1565 through the Rajanate of Cebu which was founded by a half Tamil half Malay Chola prince, Sri Lumai, from Sumatra. To trace back the history, Sri Vijaya was an Indonesian kingdom that dominated those parts of Indonesia Philippines along with Cholas of India and the Song dynasty of China in the 12th century. Sri Vijaya king even established a Buddhist Vihara in the Chola port of Nagpattinam in present-day Tamil Nadu. The Buddhist Vihara was called Churame Vihara and is referenced extensively in Tamil historical novel, Ponian Selvan written by Kalki based on Raza Raja Chola before he became the emperor. The Cholas and the Sri Vijaya kingdom had a conflict either due to a trade dispute or due to their taking sides in supporting rival kings in Cambodia. The Cholas under the great emperor, Rajendra Chola I sacked the Sri Vijaya kingdom's capital, Palempam in Sumatra in modern Indonesia around 1025 CE. After the sacking of the kingdom, some of the Chola princes settled down in Sumatra and married native Malay women. The Rajanate itself folded in 1565 when the last king, Sri Tupas or Felipe Tupas, cousin of Raja Humabo was defeated by another Spanish navigator, Miguel Lopez de Legatpi's soldiers in 27 April 1565 and subsequently signed the Treaty of Cebu, heralding the end of the Great Cholas, one of the longest ruling dynasties in the world. Coincidentally, 1565 heralded the end of another major Indian empire, after they lost the Battle of Talikota. His descendant, Raja Humabo, a grandson of Raja Sri Lumai, ruled the Rajanate of Cebu with the capital as Singhpala. He was converted to Catholicism by explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1521 incidentally on 14 April, the Tamil New Year Day. He was the first native of the Philippines to convert to Catholicism. He was called Don Carlos post-baptism, and his wife, Hara Hamamai, was renamed Joanna. Today Raja Humabo has a monument in the city of Cebu called Raja Humabo Monument as per his native name. The place is tranquil and used for evening get-togethers by families. The Queen, Hara Hamamai or Joanna is remembered during the Sinulog festival celebrating the baby Jesus or Santo Nano with locals holding infant Jesus statues symbolizing the Queen holding the Santo Nano statue gifted by Magellan after her baptism. The festival itself is celebrated in January with fervor with the carnival atmosphere prevailing in the city during that month.